dry mouth can make it very hard to talk and then you can be self-conscious about it and all these things and so licorice is really great to kind of mitigate that maybe you're going to be giving a speech or something like that it would be really nice to add licorice to your water or have licorice tea next to you because one of the things that licorice is really good at it's like very thirst quenching I was thinking about licorice and I was like, man, you know, it's such a great, just lovely, sweet remedy. A little bit can bring so much sweetness to a tea. And so there's like the sweetness of Gemini season, the sweetness of this time of year, I think. And then we're also dealing with the, the lungs with licorice because it's uh, known as a demulcent, which means it's going to be very soothing, almost, almost sort of coating like. So if you're having trouble breathing or speaking, or you're having a hoarse sort of throat going on, you have a sore throat, licorice is very soothing to both of those situations been one of my favorites to pair actually with peppermint. And I'm currently drinking spearmint and licorice tea because one of the things that licorice is really good at, it's like very thirst quenching. It can help prevent dry mouth. And so if you're talking, you're in a situation, maybe you're going to be giving a speech or something like that. It's It could be really nice to add licorice to your water or have licorice tea next to you. It can just help to lubricate your mouth. I highly recommend if, um, if you do like mint tea, to get yourself some licorice root and you can literally just add like a pinch and that goes a long way. One of the cool things I love about licorice root is or licorice is that it is also a root medicine. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but the root itself can be chewed when you dry the root. A lot of times, like people will actually chew on the root for oral health. You can give a licorice root to a baby who's teething, and that can be very soothing. Um, it's not necessarily pain relieving, but that demulcent quality can kind of help to just like keep things lubricated. People walking around the herb shop uh, just chewing on licorice roots. The root was used as um, a sweetener in um, all sorts of things back in the day. And also, from what I can tell, licorice was inspired by licorice root itself because it was so sweet. And that's like the original kind of OG flavor. You can buy it like that. Um, you can buy it like the whole roots at shops a lot of times. Uh, Kyle and Serena probably carry that. And then a lot of times you'll find it where it's ground up. Um, and then uh, you can ha find it powdered as well uh, for things. So it's lovely. Another thing that's really wonderful is slippery elm. And you can make like what, what are called slippery elm ba balls. Susan Weed um, is really uh, adamant about sharing her recipes about that. But usually there'll be licorice root powder that's added to that because the slippery elm and the licorice just really like if you're having a sore throat or whatever. Oh, gosh, it's it's seriously so soothing. And it's just basically like powdered herb herbs mixed with honey and you just roll them up into little balls and you have your own medicine ball very quick way to make something something with powdered herbs if you don't have like a compounding thing or you don't want to encapsulate something you can literally bind things with honey and and just you know take it internally that way wow licorice can cause high like a large large doses of licorice can increase your blood pressure which is a medicinal action of it if you have low blood pressure uh, licorice is a great one because of that, there's always like the general like little caution thing that herbalists do that like, you know, well, if you have too much licorice, you got to make sure you don't have uh, high blood pressure. But I've administered licorice to people with high blood pressure before with that caveat because it's you all you really need is just a tiny teensy dose and it has this system wide effect. That's why the Chinese love this plant because it has um, a really good way of marrying and combining other plants together in a formula and driving them down just like a mercurial plant would. And so it's a good, it's a good um, activator, as they say in, in Sanskrit, dipana, which means like the, the thing that gets everything going, the chance.